crack open a cold I'm keeping one. that in. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Command Point. My name's Ryan. Today, I'm here with Shane, and uh, we have got a very special video today. Games Workshop were kind enough to send us this advanced review copy of Kill Team Into the Dark. Uh, this box has got a ton of stuff in it. It's got a core book. It's got all the models that you've seen in those Warhammer community articles. It's got all these plastic walls and barricades and everything. The game board they actually play on. Uh, tech, the Tech Ops cards? Yep. It's, it's got everything in here, man. Um, so And of course, it's got the that crew team and the mm -hmm. Imperial Navy Breachers team. Uh, this is coming out in two weeks i want to say yeah it's going uh, up for pre-order today today the day that this comes out yeah um and we are really excited to get into this and and take a look at it for you guys and, and give you our, our little unboxing uh and thanks again to games workshop for sending us this this free copy of into the dark we really appreciate it and uh we're we're gonna we're, we're gonna open this now crack it open all right we're you guys are going to be getting our our live unscripted reactions and it's a big chunky box too i mean this is uh this is going to be going up for uh pre-order today uh i believe about 210 us dollars which is cheaper than i thought i it be. i thought this was going to be like three i believe more rock was more expensive than this which is surprising to me because this box just seems like a home run to me just in terms of like like my excitement <laughs> for it yeah. compared to more rock oh for sure yeah um so yeah, all right. Let's open it. We got we got to do a little shimmy. <laughs> well, that didn't do anything. That's painful. <laughs> all right. All right. So right off the bat, lots of sprues here. Um, I think this box is like twenty pounds or something of plastic. <laughs> it's a lot in here. Uh, I think I'm looking at the crude stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah, those are some crude heads right there. I see a crude body. With legs attached, which is actually weird. Oh, that's nice. That's yeah, like, less pieces to put if, together. If you look at that, I don't know if you can see it very well, uh, but there's a crew body with legs. So, like, you don't have to put the legs on, which is interesting. The little bird is all one piece. Thank God for that. Yeah. Because I did not have fun. That would have been a pain. That Corsair bird gave me nightmares. Um, yeah. Yeah, these look like they're going to be pretty easy to put together, actually. The crude, at least. I mean, the mm -hmm. Navy Breachers are in here as well. Yeah, I got the Navy Breachers here. Uh, and each box, or each team has, uh, so I believe it's 10 Navy Breacher models with two of the little robots. Mm -hmm. uh, and 10 crude models, and then two of the uh, crude hounds. Crude hounds, yep. Yeah, which actually, where are the crude hounds on here? They're, uh, they're, 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 they they're, might be on the bigger sprue. I saw one of the bodies. Oh, yeah, there. yep, I see one. And then, of course, and we've then... got the, the modular walls and terrain which are mostly their own pieces i mean it doesn't look like a ton of like work is going to have to get put into gluing like these slots. together yeah and and again i believe these are going to be modular meaning that the future mm -hmm. releases that they make that are you'll be able to customize your own layouts basically yeah. yes so it's not always just going to be this set as one piece yeah it looks like everything kind of just like has like this key and lock system going on here where everything will just slot into right into each other oh so yeah. that's really cool uh and it all looks awesome yeah it, i mean it's a space hulk um it's like arena if arena was 3d which i always yeah. thought that would be really cool i mean like we kind of made that on tts yeah we did this one's kind of like hanging off of the, the sprue yeah but, okay that's what happens if uh, 20 pounds of plastic it's not <laughs> damaged it's just no no hanging. it's just uh, right here we've got the, uh, as promised, we've got measuring gauges. So this is like very much like a starter box, kind of. Like it doesn't, mm -hmm. it's not being advertised as such, but it's got the core book. It's got the measurement gauges and the barricades. It's got tokens. It has everything you need to start playing the game. Um, but it's, uh, it's not called a starter box, but for all intents and purposes, this is a great way to get into Kill Team. Oh, it's got the little... I love these things. The post, even if they're like super beat up, like this one is. Um, I still keep these and I put them on the wall over the hobby desk. Orange dice. dice. Got the bases. We've got the Tac Ops cards, or excuse me, the Kill Team Into the Dark cards deck. Yeah. So there are different. I believe there's different 
things in in the card deck. I know, uh, for instance, some tech ops are are not legal in Into the Dark. Like Vantage, obviously, is not a legal yeah. tech op for yeah. obvious reasons. Um, and I believe there's other cards that, that kind of replace this. So in here we've got the the core book as well as the Into the Dark like campaign book, and that also has the specific rules for the uh, the crew and the Imperial Navy Breachers kill team. And your instruction guide, and then... Yeah. And then we've got the game board, which... Yeah, so... I'm, okay, so I want to open this right now, because I think there's one thing that people really want to know. Um, do you have a do you have a measurement, uh, like, a, like a tape measure? Because some people are speculating that this is bigger or smaller, not the same size as a normal kill team board. And I am curious. I want to know. So a normal board is 30 by 22. Mm -hmm. uh, let's find out how big this is. So right off the bat, this is less than... 28 inches over here. Okay. So, I'll hold that for me. Mm -hmm. And right about here, it's 24. So it is it is smaller than a normal kill team board. The, the suspicions were correct. Um, so this is about 24, or uh, 28 by 24, just about. About, yeah. Um, so that's interesting to know. Uh, so you can't just take your normal kill team boards and, and slap this these walls on them, uh, exactly, which is uh, interesting. Does it look any different on the other side? Yeah, this is double-sided. Um, I don't... Yeah, these panels kind of look the same. Let me flip it over here. Ooh. Uh, I think it's the same, but it's double. I mean, uh, might be a little bit different. Some minute differences, maybe, with the board. It's a six panel fold out instead of the four panel uh, fold out from like the Octarius box. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if that's better or worse. This one looks like I'd have to lay it out yeah. for a little while in order for the panels to get like really flat. And we're not on a perfectly flat surface right now, so bear that in mind. Yeah. Um, but it looks cool. Yeah. The art looks good. Um, looks very space hulky. Can't really ask for much more than that. This is the core book. I don't know why I'm looking at it. I know what's in there. Checks out. It's a core book. It's a core book. <laughs> so we got rules for the first Doctor Kindan, the Imperial yeah. Navy Breachers, do, 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 do. and we can there's do the like Shadow a... Opera. Yeah, we'll we'll be going over this in further detail. We just kind of wanted to give you guys kind of just like an unboxing and first reaction to this set. I'm excited to. I'm excited to uh, to start building this up and uh, get this on the table soon. Any final thoughts on our our first impression? I mean, this I, I'm really excited for a like an arena esque close mm -hmm. confines yep thing for this game. I'm really curious to to get into the rules here and figure out exactly how they're going to make that work in a 2D environment because the rules of Kill Team this edition, as we know it, don't really seem like they would work in 2D. So there's definitely going to be some some core changes here to make this uh, operate mm -hmm. as uh, as expected. What I'm really curious about is if these rules are going to be compatible to, uh, whether intentional or not, to maybe work on like an arena board from last edition. Although it is a bit bigger, um, yeah. If it, if it truly uh, translates over to two dimension, then uh, that could be that could be a really interesting opportunity for tos and yeah, and just another way to play the game, which I think is 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 exciting. Yeah, sure. So, yeah. Um, anything else? No, I think that's about it. So, uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you like what we're doing. Uh, let us know what you guys think of this new box set in the comments below. We look forward to uh, seeing your thoughts. And uh, and as a teaser, yeah, uh, we also got something else from Games Workshop today that we're going to be going over in another video. Uh, the Kill Team Annual. Uh, which has the rules for the Geller Pox Infected, which I'm so excited for, yes. and the Elu City and Star Striders. Uh, we're going to be doing videos for both of those teams, uh, taking a look at the pages and showing you guys the pages from this book uh, pretty soon in the coming days. Mm -hmm. So uh, tune in for that, and uh, yeah, have a good one. See ya!